Hi, it's Gary. Welcome to today's video. Start of April, start of a brand new Pens and Use month. Going to do a little bit of a change here. Normally, May is a Use Me Up month, but I've got a special theme that I want to focus on in May, maybe Star Wars related. So what I've done is I've brought my Use Me Up month forward. So April of 2024 is a Use Me Up month. The idea is I use a pen as soon as it's empty, that gets cleaned out and I fetch another one in. So we can go through all the ink pens and reduce the number of ink pens I've got. So join me now down on the table. Let's jump on in and take a look at the pens I'm starting the month with. Welcome down to the table. April 2024, my pens in use, my six pen selection I'm going to be using. As I've already said, the theme this month is Use Me Up. The idea is I'm taking pens that I've already got ink in and I'm going to use them up. As soon as they're empty, they go into the cleaning cup and I'm fetching a new pen to replace it. The aim, reduce the number of ink pens I've got. So the pens, like always, they're coming out in price order. So we start with Jin Hao. This is the Jin Hao X159 in blue. Nice chunky pen, plastic pen, so it's not overly heavy. I do like this blue colour, it's quite pretty. You know, it's it's got a little bit of character, as in it's not black. It's very chunky section, very chunky nib, number eight size nib. So we've got a converter in here. So there's about half a converter of ink in there so hopefully this will last maybe half the month i do like like the width the width is really nice on this it really makes a difference say so it's number eight size nib and this is a fine nib so we've got here a Jin Hao x159 with that fine nib cost wise 12 aussie dollars Fairly inexpensive. The ink is by Noodlers. And it's Navajo Turquoise. I do like this ink. It's a really nice colour. Drying times. So we've got immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. After a minute, teeny bit of a smudge, but more or less dry. For the full picture, this paper, it's Oxford Optic Paper, 90 GSM, nice fountain pen friendly paper. The temperature is 23 Celsius. The humidity is 60% and I don't have a fan on today. But yeah, after a minute there, we're dry. So that's the Jin Hao X159 with Noodle has never heard turquoise. My next pen, I'm agitating it whilst I'm doing this because I've got shimmer ink in here. This is by Asvine and this is the Asvine P20. Very nice pen, pretty pen. I may get some more Asvine P20s, not sure yet. Um, I've got one and it's a good example. So I'd have to look, you know, there's got to be something about it which jumps out at me. Nice pen. Piston filler, so this is a piston mechanism. We do have an ink window here. So hopefully you can see there is ink in there. Not a lot of ink, so this may run out fairly quickly. We've got a number six nib on there. The nib on this is a medium. I like the fact that the section material continues on. It's very nice in the hand, again, nice fit. Section does feel a bit on the thin side, We'll see how I go on though when I'm doing my normal day-to-day -day work with this. It's a very attractive pen though. I do like the looks of this. It's one of those pens where you can sit and stare at it because it's got so much going on. So this is the Asvine P20 with a medium nib. Price-wise, we're taking a jump. We're up to 44 Aussie dollars now. I do think it's worth it. This is such a pretty material and it's a piston filler. The ink, 
It's by Diamine. And it's glassier. So although I called it a shimmer ink, on the bottle it says it's star bright. So there should be loads and loads of silver in there. We'll just leave that a second to dry. I'll come back and we'll take a closer look after the drying times. So immediate. 10 seconds. Thirty seconds. Nearly dry there, but we'll go for a one minute test. One minute we're dry, but we expected that after that thirty second mark, didn't we? Let's just take a closer look at the ink. So hopefully this is coming over on the camera. Beautiful pale blue ink. I like the colour of the blue. But then just look at all this beautiful silver. I know I'd, it's hard to capture on the camera. I'm seeing it with my eye, but I'm not seeing much to of on the camera preview. So that's why I'm just trying it at different angles. So hopefully it might come over. But the whole thing, if you get the light on it, just shines silver. Very nice. Let's just move this up a little bit for the next one. So that was the Asvine P20 with Diamine Glacier. Up next, we're going to look at a Marjon or a Moonman pen. This is the Marjon M800. This is the green version. Four different colours available. I've gone for the green for this month's pick. Really nice. I love the green. My, my favourite, I will be honest, is the amber. I think the amber looks really nice, but this green, really pretty. Now, it's very, very close to a Leonardo Memento Zero. It's also very similar in shape to the Asvine. Just look at that. Not a lot of difference between the two, is there? I am planning a video in the near future to look at these two pens, plus one of my Leonardos, just to compare them and see how they look together. But yeah, really nice, very pretty. Cartridge converter, about half full of ink, so hopefully we'll get quite a bit out of this. The section, I like this section shape. It's a shame that Leonardo's moving away from it. I find this really comfortable to hold. I hold my pens quite low though. Could do with being a little bit longer. The Leonardo I've got is a Memento Zero Grande, which has an extra length, does make a difference. The nib on here is not the nib it came with. This is a Goulet broad nib. Steel nib still. I like broad nibs, so it's nice having a broad nib on here. So we've got here a Marjon. M800. M8. Can't write M800, I can say, but I can't write the broad nib. Now, the pen was $66, plus the nib, which was about another $15. So that gives a total of about $81. The ink, it's by Robert Oster. And it's ride green. Beautiful green ink. I've had this in a lot of pens lately. I've been really enjoying it. I think it's got a really nice green colour to it. Drying times. So we go immediate. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Almost dry there after 10 seconds. 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, there were dry. So a fairly quick drying combo here. So that's the Marjon M800 with Robert Oster Ride Green. Just dropping in to interrupt your regular programming. Would you like to help support the channel? If so, please consider joining as a member. As a member, you'll get early access to my videos. I normally upload them a couple of days before they go out. And as soon as they're uploaded, they'll be released to members. There'll also be a shout out at the end of the videos. And then as we get the members coming in, we'll actually chat among ourselves and work out what other perks, what other things you'd like me to add in. You know, would you like maybe a monthly live chat just for members? All down to us. So please, if you can, consider joining the channel. A link will be in the description down below. So as I normally do, we've had three under $100. The next three pens, they're all over $100. We start with a pen that I love to hate. This is the Twisby Eco. 
I know I'm always whinging about this pen, but it's a beautiful writer. It really is. It's a beautiful shape. I like the shape. I like the pattern. Very nice. Very pretty. It's another piston filling pen. So this here, this is actually the piston mechanism. It's got an ink window. One of the things I hate about this, the ink window next to useless. The whole of it is not the ink window. Most of it is empty space. Then you can see maybe, I would say less than a third of it is where you can actually see the ink. And it's very hard to see the ink level. So that's one of the things I don't like about this pen. The section, again, very nice, matches the colour in. The other thing I don't like about this pen is its nib. To me, the nib looks too small. If I just lay this out there, so you can hopefully see the pen. To me, the, the nib, it looks tiny, it looks, it looks out of proportion. Would have been better with a number six size nib, but that's just my personal opinion. This is, it's a rose gold color. It's not rose gold, it's a steel nib. Section, very comfortable. It's got a lip at the bottom. So for if you're like me and you hold your pen down low, that lip is actually quite nice. It's a nice length section. Again, little teeny bit on the narrow side for me, but it's still nice. Broad nib on this. I say it's a pen I love to hate because when I'm writing with it, it's a dream. It's just some of the visual aspects of it. They just don't seem right to me. So this is the Twisby. Draco with a broad nib. The price of this pen is 215 Aussie dollars. I do think it's overpriced, but saying that, it's also worth it. The ink is by Diamine and it's a red dragon. I like to use this combo. I think the name of the ink, Dragon, goes with Draco, which is, uh, I believe it's Latin for Dragon. And there we go. Even the ink colours, they're not too bad, are they? Drying times. So we got immediate. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. Thirty seconds and we're dry. Another fast drying combo, isn't it? See, so it's a pen I'm in two minds about because when it writes, and that's what I'm after, it's a pen that writes nice. It's beautiful. But that's the Twisby Draco with Diamine Red Dragon. Just move this up ever so slightly, then we can get both the last pens on. Fifth pen from Italy. This is the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. Just going to fetch that M800 in. As you see, the, there is a size difference between them. When I do my comparison with the P20, the M800, I may use a Leonardo Memento Magico, which is very similar body shape rather than this, but I'm not sure yet. I've got to decide when I, when I start planning that video. What would you like to see? Would you like to see the Grande included in a comparison with them other two pens? This is the dark Hawaii color. Really nice. So we've got blues, we've got browns. It's like a spaghetti pattern. Really pretty. You've got loads of different colours in there. And then, not sure if it comes off on the camera. You just move the focus point down. Maybe I can try and get it in. I don't know. Wobbling all over. But there we've got Leonardo, Officiana, Italia, and number 288. But yeah, it's a nice pen. Piston pen, so there's a piston mechanism. No ink window, one of the downsides, one of the things that really lets this pen down. And I've had a number of occasions when I've been out and about doing stuff, been writing, and the pens run dry on me. Fortunately, I always carry some other pens, but a bit embarrassing when you're sat in a meeting and your pen stops writing. It's got that older style section. I do like that, ever so comfortable. A bit wider than what we saw on the M800, so it's a bit nicer. I find it very comfortable. It's a nice length in the hand. Got a Leonardo nib made for them by Yoho. So we've got here a Leonardo. And it's the Memento Zero Grande. 
with a medium nib. We're taking the jump in price again. 377 Aussie dollars. The ink is by Diamine. And it's Jack Frost. We'll give the ink time to dry, then we'll come back and take a look, close look at that. Drying times, so we go immediate. 10 seconds. Thirty seconds. One minute. After a minute, that one's nice and dry. So let's just take a close look at this ink. So it's a nice blue ink, and then there should be some red sheen to it. I'm going to be honest with you, I always struggle seeing the red sheen on this, so I'm not sure what's coming through. I'm just trying to get this more central into the preview for you. Let's see if I can actually get to focus as well. But I'm not seeing any red sheen at all on here. Some papers I do see a little bit, but very rarely see it, so I'm a bit disappointed in that respect. But it's a nice blue, so I don't mind that, because I quite like the blue. So this is the Leonardo Memento Zero Grande. My final starting pen for the month. Let's just straighten that up. Again, we're going to take a price jump. We're going to go to the Pilot Custom 823. I know this pen makes a lot of appearances in my pens and use videos. It's a, one of my favourite pens, really is. Absolutely gorgeous pen. But it doesn't always win. And that's going to be interesting to see. Oh, that's interesting. Not sure if you see that, but it looks like there might be some, I don't know if that's rubber or it's just an artifact of the ink. Oh, it's an artifact of the ink. I thought for a minute then I had a rubber gasket come off. Yeah, this is really nice. Japanese pen, gold nib. Only gold nib I'm starting the month with. I love this brown. I see now there's a transparent one. I may have to save up for that. But I love this amber or this brown colour. As I say, it's got a 14 karat gold nib. There's the nib for you. Section, a little bit thin, but it's livable. Nice length. It's a vacuum filler. So this rod here, that has a plunge on the bottom, not going to work it, but you would pull this out. Then as you push it down, it creates a vacuum behind it. I love being able to see the ink flowing in there. I think it's really nice. This plunger also acts as a shut-off valve. That's why this valve is open. When I'm at home, I'll leave this open all the time. We've got here a Pilot Custom 823. It's got a broad and it's 14 karat gold. It's expensive, 521 Aussie dollars. The ink by Diamine. One of my favourite browns, and it's Tobacco Sunburst. Gorgeous brown ink with loads of yellow shading coming through. Drying times, there's immediate, let's get a clean finger. 10 seconds. 30 seconds. One minute. After a minute, there, that's nice and dry. So that's the Pilot Custom 823 Diamine Tobacco Sunburst. Let's swap on over. We'll take a look at this month's pen wrap and then pop all the pens into it. So here's this month's pen wrap that my loving wife has made for me. This is Batman. It's like the old cartoon Batman. We've got the Joker, we've got the Batman, Cape Crusader, we've got Bat Signal, really nice. So the pens for this month, pen number one, that Jinhao X159 with Noodler's Navajo Turquoise. The Asvine P20 with Diamine Glacier. The Marjon or Moonman M800 with Robert Oster Ride Green. The Twisby Draco with Diamine Red Dragon. The Leonardo Memento Zero Grande 
with Diamine Jack Frost. And then the Pilot Custom 823 with Diamine Tobacco Sunburst. Let's close this up. So we've got the closure there. Slightly different than previous. So as I roll this up, previous month she's put uh, some ribbon on. This time I've got a button with a hoop on it. And it, it's been designed so there's a lot of give. So there's my pen wrap for the month. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. So, got my pen roll ready. Batman, dinner, 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 Batman. There we go. Oops, if I get the right way up, doesn't it? So, they're all in there, loaded, ready to go for this month. What pens are you going to be using this month? How have you decided what to use? Please drop a comment down below. Let's kickstart the conversation. Please hit the thumbs up button every time you like. Every time you comment, just helps with the YouTube algorithm. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so that you can get new videos as I release them. I'll talk to you again soon.